Hey guys, what's going on? It's I Touch Stuff here. That's spelled with a zero. Welcome to Monday's video. I hope you enjoy this one. This one will show you guys how to get a tweak for all jailbroken iDevices known as Command Tab. For those of you who are familiar with Macs, if you hold down the Command and Tab buttons, it'll bring up a little multitasking type uh, little tray uh, where you can switch between open apps and stuff like that. Now, the Cydia or the iPhone variant is pretty different, and I'll show you how. Um, first, you need to get it. You need to have Mod My Eye, which is a default repo. Um, you need to search for Command Tab. Um, and I believe if you install this and you don't have Activator already installed, it should queue up and install Activator as well. If not, you need to go ahead and search for Activator, spelt the way it sounds, um, and install that, because this does not have a default settings page. Uh, so once it's installed, you restarted the springboard, you have Activator, head on over to Settings, then go to Activator, which is somewhere down below on the screen, if you scroll down, and you have a bunch of different settings that you, of course, can set. Uh, so if you want the thing to be activated at home screen, in application, or at lock screen, you can do that. I want it to be activated anywhere, and you can go ahead, choose your gesture, your motion, your button, uh, what not. So for me, I have it to slide out from the right of the screen, which is pretty inefficient since it does move the screen behind it. Um, but this is just for tutorial purposes, and it looks the best, I think. Uh, you can see it right here. Now, the one downfall to this is it's not made for multitasking whatsoever. If you want a multitasking drawer, Apple gives that to you standard down here by double tapping the home button. This is more meant for shortcuts that are just easy to access and it's a pretty nice looking graphical user interface um, that you can touch and swipe through. The other con is that you can't change these little app icons that show up here or the apps that they open. Um, but by default, you'll have the settings app. So if you click on that, we're already in settings. Uh, you also have the music app. It'll open up music. Then you also have Twitter and so on and so forth. Uh, this will create a new message and the next two will open up Cydia and a Wi-Fi shortcut and the last one is pretty interesting it's a terminal icon but it'll open up a respring power off and reboot option now I don't know if you do have terminal that it will open up terminal because I don't have terminal installed um, but you guys can go ahead and test it out for yourselves you can see it's popping up because I don't have the best way to activate it um, but again it's really just meant for shortcuts and they're predefined by the developer which is pretty disappointing um, but hopefully Coffee J, which is the name of the developer, will implement an update where you get to choose what apps go in this little tray area, which would be pretty nice, and I think it'd make it a lot more useful. So, guys, been I touch stuff here that's spelled with a zero. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, as always, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, uh, and check out my channel for more videos like this. Take care.